it's clear that the food aid isn't getting through as fast as some people would like it. As a result of the damaged homes in this village, the people are now sleeping under this tarpaulin. 60 people eating and sleeping in this homemade tent. The youngest, a seven-month-old baby boy, the oldest, a 95-year-old woman, and they tell me that they've only received three bowls of instant noodles since the earthquake struck on Saturday morning. It is a sensitive issue, just like in the last earthquake that struck back in 2008, a much bigger event, of course, that claimed the lives of almost 70,000 people, disaster response is seen as a key test of government competence. Every day my little daughter says she's starving. I gave her some rice porridge, but it's not enough and she can't sleep at night. But we haven't received any supplies. But despite the complaints that the aid isn't reaching some fast enough, there is also evidence of a large-scale relief effort. These people are being provided with hot dumpling soup at this camp, one of the biggest we've seen here in the shadow of Lushan County's main sports centre. There are hundreds of people camped out here and they are being provided with dozens of services. If you come over here and have a look, you can see an army medical tent behind me here. The medics have been treating people with minor injuries. Just here is a tent handing out baby milk formula and nappies or diapers. And over there in the distance, you can see another tent that is providing a mobile phone repair and charging service. Over here is an interesting one. This tent has been set up by one of China's big telecoms companies to provide free phone calls home. At a time like this of uncertainty and with the weather increasing misery, getting information to family and friends in other parts of China is of course important psychological aid and that's being provided here.